Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly, this is my pet corner, but today's video, I don't even know what this is going to be. I don't, I don't think I've filmed a video since January and we're now in March. So it's been a while since I've done this. Sorry that I'm like moving around, it's just because I don't want to like sit on my feet and so I'm standing on them while crouching. Hello Charlie! Oh. So yeah, um, obviously things haven't quite worked out as I thought. I was hoping to take about a month off of YouTube, work on my channel and then come back, but I took three months off and worked on my channel literally in no way at all. So, sorry about that. I'm not quitting or anything now, I just needed a break and my mental health has been a bit um, all over the place. So, I've had like a synoptic exam, synoptic assessments, biology exam and mocks and things like that for the last few weeks. I just did my biology mark on Wednesday and it went oh, it went okay. Um, I don't think I have to resit, so that's good at least. It is Saturday the 21st today, so I've just finished college for five weeks. So the plan was to have two weeks of work ex, two weeks of Easter, and then the teachers were like marking um, for a week so we didn't have to go in. But then obviously this corona thing sort of broken out now, so all work experience has been cancelled and who even knows if we're going to go back after five weeks. I hope, I kind of hope so because I don't really want to like miss out on too much but um, as of right now I have five weeks to sit and chill at home. I'm not in self-isolation, I'm not sure if it's like in other countries you have to go in self-isolation but pretty much long story short I'm not in self-isolation, I don't have any symptoms and neither do my family. We aren't like going out to mingle or anything though, it's more just shop, gym, and that's it. <laughs> um, but obviously the shops, are, I mean, sorry, the gym, as of yesterday, all pubs and gyms and stuff like that shut. So gyms now off the list as well, which is fabulous. So yeah, we're still going to go to the shops and stuff though, obviously, because we have to. But apart from that, we're not really going to be going anywhere. I might go on a few walks. So if I do, you guys can come along with me and stuff. But pretty much during this time, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to be filming because I'm going to be bored. And... I have like a list of things that I need to do and want to do over the holiday so I like want to redo my room and I want to uh, sort I need to sort out my guinea pig cages as well because there's some things wrong with both of those but it's just like finding the time but we have loads of time now but I, everything I want to do I need help with still so I can't really like do anything on my own yet but um yeah so I got some new subscribers while I was gone so hello everyone to, who subscribed and um, thank you so much for subscribing and sorry that you've had to wait a while for a video. I don't even know when this is going to get uploaded because I might like just film this for a month or a week or two days, who really knows. But yeah, so I just thought while in quarantine, um, I'd film like vlogs and just show you guys what I'm actually getting up to. Not everything will be pet related, but I'm just going to try and make it like interesting vlogs because people like vlogs, I think. Today we are going to our local little town centre to go to the charity shop. We're going to drop some stuff at the charity and um, buy pet food and stuff because we need to stock up on some bits. I need like more hay and stuff, but we'll, we'll get that from the farm. And yeah, this morning as well, I also cleaned out the rats and the guinea pigs are all indeed in need of a clean, not indeed. Um, so yeah, I just can't really be bothered to do that yet. I'm a bit lazy, um, I've realized, but it'll get done, just not in this specific time frame. So yeah, I also need to hoover my room, which I think I might do now. and changing the animal cages a bit there's something else I need to do so I've got these three items that have been sitting on this box for literally a month now because I need to like I don't want to get rid of them because I like them but I need to like modify them so that I can wear them more so the first thing is just some leggings that have got a hole in the back and I'm trying to be more mindful of how much stuff I throw away out and stuff like that it's literally a fat it's just one of those jobs that takes five minutes but you just never really have the motivation to get around to doing it so I'm going to do that in the soon, today hopefully. And I also have this grey hoodie and I really like it but I don't like the fit of it on me because it's quite straight and it kind of goes 
long so I've decided that I'm going to try and crop it and then same thing with the dress so the dress is like quite long on me and I don't think it's the most flattering like <laughs> So this is the jumper that I was talking about cropping and as you can see it really doesn't, sorry about the nips, <laughs> but it just really doesn't um, flatter me at all, like as you can see it's just square and obviously it's not supposed to be like a dress or tight or anything but I don't know, I just feel like it's very square and like quite um, long and just doesn't look very nice I don't think. So I'm just going to crop it like maybe like to here or here. I don't really know but yeah I'll show you afterwards because it's probably gonna fail it doesn't help that it's dark and as soon as I get annoyed the shadow covers it but um I just marked out a line and the, one, the line is very wonky but um I'm gonna try and cut it now <laughs> it already looks so much better cropped um i still have like the blue line because i wanted to cut underneath it just um so that if i went like i could get a feel of how to cut it and then i'm going to do it again but above the line now just cut a little thin slither and it already looks so much better like look at that flat pancake bun but um <laughs> it annoys me that the back is like higher than the front um, I think it must be because of the arms being like that, but yeah, I found that's a bit weird about that, but I'm going to cut it again this time shorter, probably about here. Okay, so I just finished um, cropping it again, and it still has the height difference. But I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I would have liked it to be like a little bit more cropped, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, just so that I don't ruin it anymore. I think I might cut the drawstrings, I'll just take them out completely. Um, cut them and tie a knot. I might cut them first and if it doesn't work I'll just take it out. So I just thought I'd show you how this dress up with the nips again and just take them out. I did really start cutting a little bit of it off but I just thought I'd quickly show you a before and after um, of what I could anyway. So obviously it's kind of long. I just want it to be a bit shorter. I'm finished cutting the dress and this is what it's looking like. It's not too short at the back I don't think. I think it'll be all right. So yeah, I'm just glad that I've got these things done and I can finally put them in my wardrobe now and out of the way. And I think it's turned out looking okay actually. And I like it a lot now more than it's short, so I'll actually wear it this year. Now I've just bought it a t shirt, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Never really thought about doing this ever before, so yeah, I've got myself a nice new t shirt. This is what my meat free tea. This is what my meat free tea consists of. So, with decluttering the house and trying to clean the house up a little bit so there's less stuff in it, you find some pretty interesting stuff. So, that's just the pillowcase which is good for my rats. And then we found, I found this 2020 calendar and it's like um, got all these little cute pictures and I thought instead of wasting it and throwing it away I'm going to keep it and I can have it like it's like a little painting on my wall kind of thing. Just kind of because it's cute. There's one, this one. I really like this one. I just thought oh that'd be kind of cute on my wall. Um, so I'm just going to have that on the wall. And then I also just found some like fake flowers and stuff and leaves. And I'm going to have like more greenery in my room when it's done because I'm redoing my room soon hopefully if I can get all the things I need with this uh, coronavirus but yeah. So I haven't really filmed anything else this evening I haven't really done anything apart from went to the shop with my dad but apart from that um I haven't done anything and I look like a boy right now but oh well sorry about the water bottle as well yeah. but I'm just gonna watch a bit of Netflix now because I haven't watched I haven't watched Netflix in so long because I've just been so like I, ca I can't um, sacrifice my time watching any Netflix because I need to work on other stuff but I'm actually going to try and start a series so it's 11 o'clock and I was asleep for like since like half nine 
And then I started having a fight and it woke me up. And then I had to go away and stuff. And now I'm not happy. I don't even know what they were fighting about, but... This is what I mean, like, why do you want to come out right now, like... Why can't this have been at, like, 3 o'clock when I was sat here bored? Why... Now? Because I can't do anything about it now. And now I'm going to feel really guilty. Because they're going to be up all the night fighting. Just running around like mad and mad. It's actually kind of funny for once. Morning, it's the next day now, so it's Sunday and it's Mother's Day and I have already like been up and stuff, I just haven't got dressed or ready or anything because I don't have anything to get ready to, but I am going to go for a shower now because my hair is dirty and feels really gross, so I need to wash it. I don't know what to do today. I'm going to, I need to clean the animals up while the guinea pigs are out. So I probably should just not shower yet, but because it's Mother's Day, I'm going to clean out our car. I'm going to like clean the inside of it, not the outside. And I think tonight I might make some Rocky Road. I thought I might as well just show you guys what shower products I actually use. So, well, it's like my shower routine for the morning. I just take my toothbrush so I can brush my teeth. And then I always wash my face in the shower. Like, every time I have a shower, I wash my face. I know you're not supposed to, but I do anyway. I don't always use this face wash. I have, like, different ones. So, I don't really use, I use this um, pink jelly scrub thing, which I've had from Paramount for years now. And that is really good. And then these are the shampoo and conditioner I use, it's the main tail. Um, it actually is for horses, but people can use it as well. before because it was really like it really transforms the flow once you've sweat but these cream egg mini cones are so small like no, I need about five of those to be satisfied. I've decided I've decided that I'm gonna clean out the boy guinea pigs. I'll look at Angus lying down. Lesson. There's there. Decided that I'm gonna clean these boys out. I'm not gonna do the others because I do want to like um, modify their cage and stuff, and I can't. There's no point cleaning it and then emptying it again when I actually do do it. So I'm just gonna do these guys. <laughs>